Maybe. Yeah, but he wants to wait uh, until he can get some use out of it. Yeah. I don't know how many steps are in two's deck. Also, I mean, he might just be playing defensive, which is correct. Yeah, if he's got a second step, then this seems like clearly the right play. Cole, pretty sure, played that Oblivion Ring to try to get the step out so he can finally, at some point, kill the knight. He just draw another caller? Yep. Ooh, now he's going to use Mystic to put caller into play. Smart guy. Learn from his previous mistake, which I guess wasn't necessarily a mistake, but... I think he was just... He wanted to uh, play it and equip it that turn. Yeah, because he, he had, he had exact, five mana. Exact mana. What got O-ranked? Uh, Baneslayer Angel, and it got stepped. Sejiri step. So, uh... Basilisk Color plus Two Sparkly. does not have another step. It's going to take care of that, that Bingsler Angel. And now the tides have uh, turned. Two doesn't use his knight, which is kind of weird. Two draws another Bingsler Angel. Instead, it's going to cast Admonition Angel and play a land. Man, that's so good. I mean, the way the matchup goes between, like, the bigger green decks against, like, the little kind of, like, red-white decks they are trying to assemble this combo, I mean, if they just have ways to break up the Spark Mage Caller thing, I mean, the, their matchup is still pretty good. Yeah. Even, even like, this six-mana answer. Oh, yeah. Also, Two trying to remember exactly what happened with that O-ring. He thought it got countered because of the Sejiri step, but stays in play. The ability gets countered. Looks like another, another Cunning Spark may just run for Cole. Maybe he'll finally get around to casting the uh, Blood Raid Elf. Yep. yep. Spin some Cascade Wheel into a wild Nacatle. <laughs> Cole still doesn't have a basic uh, plane, so those Nacatles are still only 2-2s. Two do we know how Cole sideboarded? Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to see. I know he boarded in the extra collar and the, the Crying Spark matches, but beyond that... Now to uses his uh, Nether Royal Quarry after forgetting keys at last, last turn. Uh, what game is this? It's game two. PK lost the first. It's uh, 15 to 11. Brian's at 15. And two is at 11. So now all of Brian's creatures are going to get quickly taken care of, thanks to Admonition Angel plus uh, another Oak Quarry. Oh yeah, after you shot. It's good! Is Abolition um, Angel in the main, or is this a sideboard? Though? Those are in the sideboard. Is it Mythic? Yeah. It is. It's really Seems good appropriate. Two plays Noble Hierarch. Bashes him for seven with his admonition angel, dropping Cole down to eight. And another Baneslayer angel for two. It looks like, uh, unless the top card is like a path to exile, Cole's drawing Four spark dead. mages. Not gonna do it. Nope. Cole scratching his, his head, his award winning head. <laughs> That head has won some awards. Can't find a way out of this. It's thinking. 
that's it. 100, 187 degrees. The only Cole is uh, trying to soak up his camera time. <laughs> well, he still got it. He has two spark mages and what? Uh, a land? A bolt, I think. How many times have you ran the uh, the two joke? Like on Tuesdays, we're like, hey, dude, what are you doing on, on Tuesday? Have you run that joke before? It's a popular one, I'm sure. I've never actually heard that. I've known two for about ten years. Yeah, and now you're just being sarcastic. No, I'm not. You, I mean, feel free to go ask him. He's right over there. It'll go over real well, I bet. I don't think he cares very much. He's a pretty laid back guy. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Koala's just dead here. He needed a pathway to on that last turn and have uh, to not have a second Sejiri step in his deck. Yeah, it's Did we draw something to still have these? Pretty good. With? Which is important, right? Oh, it is. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't to put your opponent on tilt yeah. after the match, that's really important. Yeah. Well, I mean, Koala could... Tip. Cole could just concede and end it, but instead he's making the game. So if I was in two seat, I would definitely try to get a little rub in. <laughs> yep, gotta use Night of the Reliquary to make sure all of your creatures are dead. Make sure you have actually no permanents. Is that still a rule? If you have no permanents, you can't talk? Yeah, but yeah. land count. I know, I know it does. It's a rule. I, think it, I think it's standard. You know, having all your permanents removed by one card, it's pretty close. Can't you, um, you can respond to um, the angel removing something by removing your angel, and then it's gone forever, right? Yes. So, you could like scape shift and then just blow them out. And extend it. Yeah, because that combo, that's what you want to be doing with scape shift. That's right? what I do with my scape shift. All right, and that's, so that's the match. Two wins the match, two games to zero. Uh, it's on his way to hopefully make a top eight if he wins this next round. Maybe. 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 It depends. What do we got going on in this chat? Not, not very much, clearly. Not sure, but Rescue Cat says that match was awesome. <laughs> wow, I'm glad that we're speaking GG's Live through Rescue Cat. I mean, Rescue Cat has his own opinion. You can't get some, some cat pwn in there. Huh? So, like, I want, I want the it was top eight perfect. to start. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> I want this top eight to start right meow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, prime GG's live puns right here. Good puns live. So, at the beginning of this round, we had two undefeated and a bunch of 18s. So, wasn't there a chance that we would have had um, only one undefeated? Was there? I thought that this is the it. numbers were like weird. Like the two undefeated straw. No, no, no. He's talking about the round before. I, yeah, I think there was three undefeated the round before, and that guy who right, won okay. beat the pair down. Because you like if there was only one undefeated, then a two one, then a two one. I mean a one a two and X two to sneak well, in, right? Well, um, depending on how things happened, I was gonna convince Julian to play in round nine after he drew in round eight to try and help like some of our friends who were X and two get in, but. Right now it looks like a clean cut, so it just doesn't matter. I think I'm just going to be able to draw. No. Is, is this going to be you, one of those... Did you draw? Okay, I'm excellent. Is this going to be one of those tournaments where the top eight is just locked and there's nothing you could do? I've been in some of those where yeah. it's just like draw, 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 and it's, it's nothing that can happen. Like, two is one of the guys who's X1 and 1, you know? I'll make picking a future match next round kind of difficult. Yeah, agreed. Well, you you could just feature two again because he's just one one and like. I mean, there's another he, person. He has to win to make top eight. Sure. To even have a shot. But everyone else is going to drop probably, except for maybe the guys who have the lowest depends, breakers. Depends who, like, who might pass uh, them. Josh or Tom Maggio. And if Tom won, he can also uh, make it in. Tom goes by the name Tuffy. Tuffy? Tuffy. Tuffy. How do you know all the, I guess you're from this area, that's how you know all these people? I 
guess, but I mean, like, a lot of these people, like, uh, Julian Boer, Matthias Hans, are, like, new guys. And I mean, I haven't been back here for very long, but I know 